Okay, gents, now, this has been interesting. Um, Alec here, Line 6 Minivan Scientist Club, and this is a first test of the TS Electronics and a sort of a workaround because the TS Electronics better at the moment has this cool beta program which allows it to do PC messaging and some CC messaging, very basic, turning on and off the five switches. So, as you can see, da, 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 da. I have just mapped those five switches here, and you can turn them on and off by hitting here on screen. All well and cool and groovy. What else have we got here? I'm currently running this good signal throw guitar into the stomp coming out mono into the loop into the end of the plethora back out through the loop and so before in this little uh, preset here I have an app just a basic app what is it the Regular phone, normal, AC30, cool stuff. Now, I've also mapped that to this button. You'll see it coming on and off. And then, finally, I've mapped this so that <clears throat> when you switch to this song, think of this as a song, like normally this would be these are all remotes, but what you normally have is a song with chords and stuff like that. And in the song, you can call up, give me that preset, give me that snapshot, give me that board on the TS Electronics. You can do all that. So the idea with these remotes is to get to flick through a whole bunch of stuff, pick a guitar you like, and it will automatically load the presets that you kind of like for that guitar across all of your pedals so let's mess with this thing now I'm at uh, patch 100 now, you'll notice here nothing is happening over here but if I go within the limits on the HX stomp of the number of pedal boards on the platter <laughs> Boom, changes to zero. So, we've had a couple of new guys in who are asking about this. And if you've ever seen the MC6, it uses a similar trick. You just turn on the PC messages out of here and broadcast them, and this will change. Now, the problem with the plethora at the moment, problem, the way they've, they've set it up for testing is instead of giving you a channel that you can choose they've just set it to multi so any channel coming in this board is going to switch and that's really great for testing because you don't have to mess with it but obviously not so great if you want to control individual things so up to 23 it says an empty board 24 25 and then it would normally just start wrapping back around and it's not so there you can see the 24 or so boards I've put in here are now being run by this, so 8 comes up 8, etc. Now, you can still switch this manually, and nothing goes out of sync there. More than 5, that's 7. But if I start switching these, you'll see that should be 14. 14. That stays in line. hope that's clear that's one cool way of doing it and the hack to get around this is use the old camera connector kit and run USB into the back of the plethora regular USB cable micro cable whatever it's called for that the d-shape now as soon as this hits that Benedetto boom it starts sending out all these MIDI commands. So let's switch that 
to board number two. As you can see, it's exactly board number two. You can still switch stuff on and off, no problem. And you can even predetermine, and this is very useful, what stuff you don't want to be on, like this delay, for instance, right here, is pretty horrendous. It's set really, really, really long, so. What I try and do is get this to disappear and you should be able to program into the iPad a way to make that disappear no matter what the other stuff is set for. Which is a lot nicer than that super delay. So let's recap. The Pletter, it is brilliant. The MIDI stuff does work, but it's still in beta and it's getting improved. Here's a workaround if you have the beta software. You can control it via USB, no problem. Any app that can send PC messages or CC messages should, should work. And that is separated out from your regular wired MIDI, or you can direct it. There are a couple of apps that do that. Audio Bus is the one I'm using. As you can see, Onsong is talking to the plethora directly. That's the changing of music beats. And I've got the Witty Master, which is this CME gizmo here, wirelessly sending signals in and then wire and then sending back out down the USB to the Iridium. So with this little app here, you can really do a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Da, 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 da. You can also see the plethora turned up there, but this does not work at the moment for passing MIDI, so you can forget about that. Soon come, I think. Hopefully they will also port this stuff directly over and then you wouldn't have to have any cables whatsoever. You could just wirelessly direct mini wherever you want it to go. But that's it. Really quite cool. If you don't want to mess with MIDI at all, remember you can set your presets here, match your presets in the TC Electronics Plether X5. You've got 127 in here, you've got 127 in here max, so just tie the two together and it'll work. Pretty cool, I think you have to agree. But best of all, use something like Onsong, because this thing. Pam. Everything changes to match. Everything's where you want it to be. Life is great. And you can turn on this noisy amp. And turn it off. Turn it on. Got it? So, hope that's useful. Some very cool stuff. If you dig this, like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Um, check out the Line 6 MIDI, MIDI Mad Scientist Club as we deal with all kinds of this stuff. And hope you're enjoying the plethora group. See you guys.